the Sun, our core resident yellow dwarf star, around which all other planets in the Milky Way galaxy orbit, the celestial entity that is single-handedly responsible for providing all light and warmth on Earth, without which no life on our home planet could exist. Scientists have just discovered something peculiar happening to it that we have never observed before, and there might be reason to worry. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me start over and take you on a brief journey through time. You see, scientists have been studying the hot glowing ball of hydrogen and helium that we call the sun for thousands of years. However, it wasn't until the visionary Italian polymath Galileo Galilei first created his telescope in the year 1609 that the basis for modern-day observational astronomy was born. Since that fateful day in astronomical history, we have made remarkable progress in our understanding of this bright yellow glowing ball of fire, including its age, its composition, its behavior, and much more. In 1755, we discovered and started recording the sun's solar magnetic cycles. These are cyclical 11-year changes in the sun's activity level, commonly known as solar cycles. And in 2018, NASA launched the world's first solar probe to touch the sun, ushering in a new era for solar science. With such monumental scientific progress taking place in such a short span of time, our species believed we had finally started understanding the celestial spectacle our planet orbits. But we were wrong. On the 3rd of August 2023, a research paper was published in the multi-Nobel prize-winning physics journal Physical Review Letters which talks about record-breaking detection of solar photons. The paper, which is a culmination of the analysis of over six years worth of data collected from 2015 to 2021 by the High Altitude Water Cherenkov Observatory, reveals that the Sun is releasing an unfathomable amount of excess gamma ray energy, marking the highest level of radiation to ever be recorded being emitted from our planet's host star. This level of energy is equivalent to around 1 trillion electron volts, a shockingly large number that by most accounts shouldn't be possible, given everything we know about the Sun to date. The Hawke Observatory, located at an altitude of 4,100 meters between two volcanoes in Mexico, uses an array of Cherenkov detectors to observe high-energy cosmic rays and gamma rays between 100 giga electron volts and 100 tera electron volts using 300 large water tanks and an array of high-tech sensors and detectors. When gamma rays strike air in the atmosphere, they create invisible particle explosions called air showers. The energy of the original gamma ray is divided into fragments of lower energy particles and light, which the Hawke Observatory can detect using various instruments when the particles interact with water in the tanks to create Cherenkov radiation. This is precisely how the researchers were able to detect the extremely high gamma rays coming from the sun. Meher Unnisa, postdoctoral research associate at Michigan State University and one of the approximately 100 co-authors of the research paper, states that initially she and her team of researchers at the Horsey Observatory thought they had made some mistakes in their calculations, pointing out that the sun cannot be this bright at these energies. A reanalysis confirmed the paper's findings, with Nisa stating, we thought we had this star figured out, but that's not the case. It is interesting to note the timing of this research publication is closely in line with the current stage of the periodic 11-year solar cycle, with NASA scientists warning that this time the period of solar maximum could come earlier than expected, and at a much greater intensity than in the past. While scientists originally predicted that the current solar cycle would peak in 2025, Observations of an unprecedented number of sunspots, more than twice the predicted number, highly powerful solar flares and rare solar phenomena suggest that this peak period could arrive as early as the end of 2023. During a solar maximum, the sun belches out fiery blobs of plasma, grows gigantic dark spots and emits powerful streams of high energy and radiation. This activity translates to intense solar storms, the effects of which on our power and communication infrastructure can be quite severe. The worst solar storm on record occurred in 1859, during the 10th officially recorded periodic solar cycle. Known as the Carrington event, this geomagnetic storm, caused by a coronal mass ejection from the sun, created strong auroral displays that were seen around the world and brought down telegraph systems all over North America and Europe. 
Astronomers believe the intensity of solar disturbance during the current solar maximum could beat a 90-year record, reaching or even exceeding the devastating solar storm of the Carrington event. But despite the apparent plausibility of the relation between the current solar cycle and the record-breaking levels of intense gamma-ray emissions from the Sun, the research paper notes a strong indication of anti-correlation with solar activity, which further deepens the mystery of this discovery. Given that the Sun is not supposed to be able to become this bright or release this much gamma-ray energy at such a high intensity, a possible explanation could be that these are cosmic rays that are being redirected by the Sun after interacting with the upper atmosphere of the Sun. The common sources of such powerful cosmic emissions include supernovae, neutron stars, pulses, quasars, and most importantly active galactic nuclei at the center of distant galaxies. Supporting this explanation are images of the Moon taken from NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope in 2019, which show our lunar satellite glowing even brighter than the Sun as a result of electrically charged cosmic ray particles interacting with the Moon, with the lack of a magnetic field turning it into a celestial particle detector. Of course, this is just a theory at this point, and it is unclear whether we can compare the two events as the Fermi Telescope and Hawke Observatory use different methods of detecting gamma rays. At the end of the day, we are not exactly sure what caused this gamma ray energy burst from the Sun. Current theoretical models are unable to explain how solar magnetic fields shape the interactions of cosmic rays with the solar atmosphere. Is it possible that these gamma rays are in fact due to something happening within the Sun, or is it something else entirely? To put it simply, we don't have an answer yet. The Hawke Observatory's Terra Electron Volt Detection from the Sun raises new questions about our understanding of the Sun, the most studied star throughout the history of astronomy. It raises more questions than it answers, prompting solar scientists to put on their thinking caps over how exactly these gamma rays achieve such high energies and forcing us to rethink what we thought we understood about the behavior and functions of the Sun. As always, when it comes to our understanding of the cosmos, there is always something new to learn. Thank you for watching fellow space enthusiasts. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel for more awe-inspiring videos like this on some of the most important breakthroughs in the fields of astronomy and cosmology. And with that I leave you for today, I will see you in the next video.